Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial in which we're going to carry on looking at paint in Adobe After Effects. Now I've got a brush selected and I've got paint selected and I'm just going to draw on this solid layer and just going to draw straight across and that is a standard line. Now if we go down to the paint panel here you'll see that we've got some options. One of them says opacity. If I turn opacity right down say 17% and I draw another line you see that it's hardly visible. That's simply because we've turned the opacity up and the opacity down. Notice it didn't affect the previous line, it only affected the line after the change had been made in the paint panel. So I'm going to turn that back up to 100%. The other one is flow. At the moment that's at 100% as we saw with this line. If I take it down to zero and I draw a line, nothing happens. But if I turn it up to say 10%, and start to draw you'll see that again I get something that kind of looks like what happened in opacity but in actual fact what has happened is as you can see this line is thinner than this line less for one of a better metaphor ink has flown from the nib of the pen less paint has actually been put onto the canvas so this is simply the amount of paint that's coming from the brush the amount of ink that's flown from the nib if you like so if I take it up to say 50% or thereabouts you'll see that we've got quite a lot of ink coming through but nothing like the hundred percent okay so I'm going to take them both up to a hundred percent just shows that you can play around with them and it's worth noting that they only affect whatever happens after you've made the change and not before now we also have things called modes just below it and if we click the mode drop down which actually is going to go up you'll see that we've got different ways for the ink or the paint to interact with what's around it at the moment it's under normal which means it's just going to lay on top of whatever's there but when we start playing with these different modes we've got ones that darken and you'll see that they're in a section all of their own we've got ones that lighten and you can see they're in a section of their own and ones that overlay and then a couple of other different ones to play around with now I'm not going to go through all of them but it's worth seeing what they can do for instance if I choose multiply and I actually draw on here not even over the other lines but I just draw straight across now this line is exactly the same settings as this line except this one has been done with multiply and it's kind of multiplying the pixels of the line with the background and if I just then draw over these other lines you'll see that we get different looks where the lines meet if I drop from multiply and you can play with all of these in your own time obviously and choose say lighten or add and I draw one line right across you'll see that it actually again this is the same settings as this line but it's adding to the pixels that are below it so that when I start going over these pixels it's going to brighten things up and create a completely different look and you can go through all of these I'm not just going to go through all of them but here's overlay overlay on its own and overlay when added to other bits and pieces and you get a very different look and obviously you can do these with different colors so blend modes can make your drawing look fantastic simply by playing around with all the different ones and we will be dealing with blend modes in more detail at a future tutorial so I'm not going to go through them all but know that you have access to them and you can change them the other thing to talk about and in fact you can actually get rid of all of these lines I want to get rid of all of them down here in the timeline if you click the word effect and we'll be looking at the timeline in a future tutorial and you hit delete they've all gone okay the other one to show you is that at the moment we are drawing on the RGB and A which stands for alpha channel okay we've got two other options RGB and alpha if I click alpha and I draw notice the color's gone to black and I draw I'm actually creating transparency my transparency grid is on it would look like that otherwise but I'm actually creating transparency I'm cutting away pixels but if I then go to just RGB and I've got my blue color and I start to draw every time I go over the alpha channel nothing happens but when I go over the background something happens whereas if I choose RGB A and I start to draw you'll see that I can actually draw over the alpha channel and start to fill it in if I want to now this is actually quite valuable for revealing things or for hiding things you can use the alpha channel to get rid of pixels but also if I've got something with an alpha channel in it and I don't want to draw over the alpha channel I can just choose RGB and I won't go over the alpha channel, I won't affect the alpha channel at all I'll just affect anything that isn't transparent so these are options that you've got down here the last one to show you on this particular section is duration 
We'll cover this in another tutorial because we've got some quite interesting options. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching.